right, today we're calibrating another indicator of ours. Uh, it is the SL-MS520SS indicator. Uh, this indicator is used for bent scales. You could also use it for floor scales. The first thing you want to do is turn the indicator on and let it do the countdown. Okay, from here you want to hold the mode button and let go when you see P1, which is parameter 1. Uh, from here, you're going to press it a few times until you get to P3 and one more time. And it's going to ask you for a password. The password is unit, unit, tear, unit. And we confirm that information with a print button. And from here on out, you want to go to the P5 and you're going to press the mode button until you get there. And this is the capacity of the scale. Print acts as an, as an enter, so you're going to press that and it will bring you to the capacity. So as of right now, it's set at 800 pounds. Let's just say I want to change it to 600 pounds. The way I could do it is with the tear button. And that will bring you back around till you see the number 600. And these are presets. Now let's just say if I didn't want the 600, I wanted to maybe have one decimal point or two decimal points, the unit button is what controls that particular option with this indicator. So it's at 600, I like that capacity, I'm going to hit enter or print and it will bring you to the division of the scale, what accuracy it has and what it reads by and it's the same thing, you could press the tear button to increase it, let's just say if you wanted to read by one pound, you would leave it at that or you want to come back around and maybe have better accuracy, maybe 0.2 of a pound. So each scale has its own um, capabilities. Um, you can't just set any capacity to any accuracy. I would say check within the manual, make sure that load cell could handle it. But for our bench scales, you could set 600 pounds capacity and 0 0.02 of a pound accuracy. From here, we're going to hit print to save the information. And we're going to leave that at LB. You have the option of changing it to KG as well with the unit button, but we're going to leave it at LB because we're calibrating in pounds. And from there, you're going to press print, and you press print again. It will bring you to P5. From here, you're going to skip P6 by pressing mode, and one more time until you get to P7. This is the calibration section, uh, the last parameter. You're going to press print to enter. Uh, so this is the weight that we're using to calibrate the scale with. But let's just say you had 100 pounds. Uh, you could change that with pressing by pressing the unit button. You could change the actual decimal positioning of where this is, and from there you could press tear. Let's just say if you had 100 pounds, you would go over, and you could change that to 100 pounds. So in our case, we have 50 pounds. I'm going to come back around and make that into zero, and then shift over again and turn that into a five. So we have 50 pounds, you're going to press print, and you're going to see cal. This is the internal reading of the scale. If I apply any pressure to the scale, this number should increase. From here, numbers are stable, and the stable sign is on as well. I'm going to press print, and it says LOD. This is where you bring that 50 pound weight, and you place it on the scale. We have a calibration weight here. And as you see here, the numbers have increased and it is stable now. You're going to press print one time and it's going to say pass and it's going to show you the 50. If I were to take the weight off, the number should go to zero on the scale and the stable sign comes on. I'm going to put the 50 back just to check and it does show 50 pounds. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please give us a call. Have a nice day. Bye bye.